so what is going on everybody my name is Mehul and welcome to your 43rd Android application development tutorial and in this tutorial what I'm gonna do first is quickly fix that thing which I was referring in the last tutorial and that is that uh, that bug which uh, actually did not allow us to change signs so what I'm gonna do is actually say boolean just num pressed and set it to false right so now we can play around with this boolean and inside my number pressed I'm gonna say that this just num pressed is true and inside my operation I'm gonna say that this just num pressed is false right so what advantage does it give us well it tells us that uh, in this call in this function I can actually check whether just num pressed is true or false and if it fall if it is false that means that the user is trying to switch the signs without uh, actually you know doing pressing any other number so addition and subtraction works fine but there's some sort of problem with multiplication and division so we are gonna need to implement the condition in these two only so what I'm gonna do is say to multiplication first that if just number pressed is true that means that uh, the user has actually pressed some numbers between the you know pressing two signs so I just want to return the result times last number and if it not if it's not the case then what I want to do is just simply return the result right so I don't want to change the result I just want to return that same particular result okay so now what I want to do is implement the same thing with this thing but make sure you change the sign to division and return result and uh, okay so now let's just see how it looks like and uh, let it build okay so now if I write like 12 plus 12 plus 6 times 5 plus 5 plus whoops oh I mean to do negative oh no I want to do positive oh no negative positive oh actually I wanted to do it as multiplication no I guess negative so you can see it didn't change to zero so I guess our code is working so it gives us 150 and if I do like times 2 minus 100 times oh no I wanted to actually divide this so divide oh no multiply divide multiply divide so you can see that the sign is changing but not our number the actual number so I want to divide it let's just say with the uh, hundred and it equals two wow I didn't know that well so that is how pretty much you create a very basic calculator with the help of Java and Android obviously so this is sort of a GUI calculator with uh, not so boring interface like just two text fields you can just actually mul do multiple calculations but obviously better calculators are more complicated and uh, include more operations and uh, actually they have uh, the best ones have like brackets and even exponentials and whatnot so you know you can just do anything if you just get the basics right in your calculator like how the numbers are updating and uh, you know you can just implement the square root function yourself I think so because uh, it's just you know just another thing you can just make sure you can just write here if op equals square root then return math dot square root and then use any other function if you want to or you can just calculate it on the fly but actually I would just recommend you to make use of inbuilt function for square root because it's not easy well anyways you know you can just do that 
and uh, yeah so every other button works except this one so you can just do it as an assignment and uh, if you face any problem then uh, I would just uh, be available in the comments section and uh, I would probably just post this as a github repo as well so that you can just download the source code for this application and uh, if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one real quick so see you then